G'day guys and girls. We've got Mark's S550 17 model Mustang here. Um, this car's gone through a few little transformations. We've previously done a stage one on it, then moved on to a stage two. So pretty much full exhaust system, extractors, cats. It's got the Roush cold air intake on it uh, with the 105 mil opening inside. We've taken the restrictor out of it. Uh, standard throttle body. Previous form, the car was making 319 kilowatts at the wheels, um, which is pretty stout for one of these. We've just now done a back-to-back -back test with the manifold, so we've put a MY18 manifold on it. This is the 17 model one. Visually, there's really not a lot of differences in them, and to be honest with you, I haven't really got in there and worked out the differences. But surprisingly, after a, a few hours of you know, decent tuning with it, We've got some pretty good gains out of it. So if we have a look at the graph, so depending, this really does depend on driving style. As you can see, the red line, uh, so your 319 kilowatt, is the previous setup, so with the factory manifold. And then with the 18 model manifold on there, it's 335 kilowatts. So a decent gain there, but as you can see, the gain, where the 17 manual switches off, well, switches off is like 66, 6700. You can see it sort of rolls off and it, um, it's all over and done with by sort of 7,000, but where the, the 18 model manifold pretty much takes off where that rolls off. So as you can see, you pick up that extra RPM, where it's now making peak power all the way to about 7,300, and then it's all over and done with. However, we do lose a little bit of torque and power at 5,400 and a little bit at 4,400. I don't think you would really notice that out on the road, but Brings, it all comes back down to driving style. So if you're a bit of a street guy, he likes to give it to it a little bit, um, but you know, he doesn't like to rev him out to redline every time, then the stock manifold, you're better off just leaving it. But if you're a manual guy, or an auto guy, but probably more so manual, if you're giving an absolute beat down the road and you love getting right up in the revs and you're not scared to rev it, uh, mainly sort of racetracks and stuff like that, then yes, the manifold is beneficial to you. So it's up for debate. Is it worth doing? Is it not worth doing? I think you got to ask yourself the question is where do you want your power and that will pretty much tell you the answer from there so don't be a sheep following everyone else do what works for you and your driving style and you'll have a, a good car that you're happy with to drive every day thanks for watching another independent motorsports video give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing and ticking the bell to be notified when our next video is uploaded you can also keep up to date with our events news and sales by following us on facebook instagram youtube and even snapchat